When I was comparing the Oppo Enco X to the Sony WF-1000XM3 in this video, I was very impressed by how it managed to outperform the XM3s in terms of noise cancelling, phone call quality, and also come pretty close to the Sony's in terms of sound quality. But the XM3s were launched in 2019, so it's been a while. Today, we're going to compare it to something much more recent, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. They retail for about the same price too as the Enco X. The Enco X is priced at about 190 US dollars after direct conversion from Singapore dollars, while the Buds Pro is priced at 199 US dollars. So in terms of price, there's not much of a difference there. But how do they compare in terms of specs? The Buds Pro has up to 5 hours of battery in the earbuds and an extra 13 hours in its case. That is a total of 18 hours. The Enco X on the other hand has up to 4 hours in the earbuds but it's got an extra 16 hours in its charging case. That makes a total of 20 hours. So the Enco X can go for a bit longer without charging than the Buds Pro. However, the Buds Pro is a bit better for sports and for working out. It's got better water resistance, IPX7, compared to the IP54 dust and water resistance rating of the Enco X. The Enco X also has an AirPod style form factor which, to be honest, I'm not a very big fan of because they don't stay very well in my ears. The Buds Pro with its more traditional form factor feels more snug and more stable, making it much more suitable for higher intensity workouts. But I gotta say that other than that, they both are very similar in many ways. Both supports USB Type-C and wireless charging, Bluetooth 5, and they both also have app support, but only on Android devices, not iOS. However, you do get more options for customization with the Buds Pro, allowing you to customize its sound quality, touch controls, and also getting software updates. The Enco X though only allows you to customize its touch controls and get software updates, no sound quality customizations. Plus, the Buds Pro also has this feature called Voice Detect that automatically puts them into transparency mode when you start to speak with somebody in front of you so that you can have a proper conversation with the person you're speaking to. They both have AAC and SBC audio codec support. Now, although the Enco X does support higher res music streaming using Oppo's proprietary LHDC audio codec, you can only get that benefit if you're listening to music from an Oppo device. So for most people who don't use an Oppo device, that's not really an option or a benefit at all. In terms of sound quality, they both sound quite similar. In fact, nearly identical in terms of bass extension, track separation, detail level, sound staging, and to be honest, I'm not very surprised because they both were tuned by famous audiophile brands, the Buds Pro by AKG and the Enco X by Dyn Audio. But there are a couple of differences. The Buds Pro is about 5% louder than the Enco X. So, 50% volume on the Buds Pro is comparable to about 55% on the Enco X. The Buds Pro is also more mid-range focused. So vocals in your music will sound a bit louder and stand out a bit more against the background on the Buds Pro than the Enco X. On the other hand, the Enco X is a bit more focused in the upper bass range. So although you won't be getting a deeper bass extension than the Buds Pro, its bass sounds more textured as a result of that. The Enco X also has a bit more roll-off in the treble than the Buds Pro, making it a bit more suitable for long periods of listening because it's gonna sound more non-fatiguing as a result. Okay, now we're gonna compare their phone call quality. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna play some really loud cafe style background noise to simulate making a phone call in a noisy place and I'm gonna record a voice memo on my phone using these earbuds. Background noise, Oppo Enco X, record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Oppo Enco X. Mary had a little lamp, its place was white as snow. 
and everywhere that Mary went, the lamp was sure to go. Background noise, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. Mary had a little lamp, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamp was sure to go. Mary had a little lamp, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamp was sure to go. Mary had a little lamp, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamp was sure to go. So, in terms of phone call quality, I think the Enco X takes this round because its background noise cancelling was a bit better than that of the Buds Pro. Also, my voice sounds cleaner and a bit clearer on the Enco X compared to the Buds Pro. Now, I'm not saying that the Buds Pro's phone call quality isn't good. It is very good. It's just that I wish its background noise cancelling was a bit better. Okay, now we're going to compare their noise cancelling performance. As usual, I'm going to play the same background noise as before and we'll see which of these earbuds have better A and C. So, it appears that in terms of noise cancelling performance, they cancelled just as much low frequency noise, but the Enco X did cancel more mid range noise than the Galaxy Buds Pro. This simply means that the Enco X will do a slightly better job at muffling human voices. So, if that's important to you, the Enco X will do a slightly better job at that, but the Galaxy Buds Pro is still pretty good enough for most situations. Now let's take a look at how they compare in terms of Bluetooth audio lag, both when gaming and watching videos on Apple and Android devices. For an Apple device, as usual, I'm going to use the iPhone SE 2020. For Android, I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. First, the gaming audio lag test. As a point of reference, let's see what no lag looks like on the iPhone SE. This is audio straight from the iPhone speaker, so no lag. Now, the Oppo Enco X, then the Galaxy Buds Pro, and then we repeat the same test on the S20 FE.
So whether you're gaming on an Apple or Android device, the Enco X has far less Bluetooth lag than the Buds Pro, but do note that on Samsung devices, you will be able to get the Buds Pro to operate in gaming mode. This will drastically bring down the Buds Pro's lag so that it can be comparable or even have less lag than competing earbuds. If you'd like to know how much difference the Buds Pro's gaming mode will make, check out this video over here. But what about watching videos on your phone? Will there be any Bluetooth audio lag? Well, not really, because these apps like YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, they have their own latency correction built into the app, so they will automatically correct for Bluetooth audio lag by delaying the video so that the audio syncs up better with the video, like this. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today we're going to find out which of these very popular truly wireless earbuds have the best phone call quality. Now, if you've watched similar videos I've done in the past, you know how things are going to go. This is going to be a trial by elimination competition. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today we're going to find out which of these very popular truly wireless earbuds have the best phone call quality. Now, if you've watched similar videos I've done in the past, you know how things are going to go. This is going to be a trial by elimination competition. So here are my overall thoughts. It can be quite tricky when choosing between the Enco X and the Buds Pro because they actually are quite comparable in many ways, and there isn't much of a price difference. So we gotta make our decisions based on what we wanna do with our earbuds. They both are very suitable for everyday use, but if you wanna use them for sports, I recommend getting the Buds Pro because it's got better water resistance and better fit. If you need your earbuds to cancel more noise, specifically people's voices, the Enco X might be more suitable. Like I said though, I think both are very comparable and very suitable for general everyday use. But what do you guys think? Based on what you've seen in this video, will you pick the Enco X or the Buds Pro? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please show that you like this video by smashing that like button and sharing this video with your friends and family. That will really help me beat YouTube's algorithm. And if you'd like to see more content from this channel, more reviews, comparisons, and tutorials, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new content from this channel. A very big shout out to my patrons who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month through the crowdfunding website Patreon. By supporting my work on Patreon like these guys, you gain perks like early access to most of my content, exclusive live streams, and more. If you'd also like to support my work and get special perks in the process, please join me on Patreon as well, link is in my description box. Once again, thanks for watching, Dos Vidania.